Hello everybody and welcome to Hades 2. It is out finally in early access and this is something we've been waiting for for a long time. The first Hades game was honestly one of the best releases of the year it came out. It was absolutely amazing, great game. I played it on the channel quite a bit, thoroughly enjoyed it and yeah, I've been patiently waiting for Hades 2. And apparently the early access is quite chock-a-block with content. I was debating whether to wait until the full release but everyone's saying there is a lot going on in the early access so why not give it a go and yeah. I'm actually thinking of making this into more of a main series of the channel, potentially doing it um, a little more often than my other series. So if people w like this episode and want to see more Hades 2, I'm very willing to do that. But anyways, let's jump in and see what we can do. Um, obviously start a new save slot, and I think we'll have a cutscene here. Let's Hades, listen to this. Whose reign as grim lord of the dead came to a sudden end when all at once his past caught up with him. But gods do not go quietly, and history repeats. So this tale was only a matter of time. Ooh, okay, so we're straight into a run. And yeah, I've looked at a bit of gameplay here. I've looked at a little bit of, like, what's going on with this game. And essentially in this game, we're kind of like a witch. We have, um, we have, like, powers we can use. So, I mean, I'm playing controller because the game recommends it. We got our dash here. Very nice. The game looks great. Ooh, so there's there's one of our attacks there. Um, we got our regular attack here, of course. What's what's this over here? Restore. Okay, that restores some of our mana. So if I if I hold this, I can do this. Okay, there you go. And that does that. And then that one does that. And then we can come over here and we can restore. Very nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. So this seems really really cool. There's a lot of different powers and stuff we can use. And we'll proceed into our first zone. I imagine there's going to be new gods and everything. For those of you that haven't seen much of Hades 1 and don't really know what this game is about. Basically, it's very similar to this. This game stayed very much in the same style. You're working your way towards the uh, the end boss. Which in the first game was Hades. I'm not sure who it'll be in this game. If it'll be Hades or someone else. Um, I don't think it'll be Hades. Considering we kind of defeated him in the last game. Um... So we'll see who it is, but basically you, this is kind of a, they call it a godlike like like basically you, you talk to the gods, um, and you get powers and boons from the gods. Let's try and use one of our, uh, one of our magic abilities in this guy. There you go. And you'll see this now. So we'll take a boon from a god. Ten words. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Yeah. Who's this gonna be? Ooh, Apollo. Look, we can't get to the Titan, but if you truly mean to stop him, then the least I can do is light your way down. Very interesting. And then we get to choose our little different boons. And these are essentially our passive abilities that will uh, change the way. They're not always passive, I suppose. They'll change the way that things work. So your attacks deal more damage in a larger area. That seems great. Your sprint is faster and inflicts days. I like faster sprint. And while standing uh, your, in your casts, you restore mana. So if we're going for mana, that's pretty good. But I'm going to go for the Nova Strike. It's pretty basic, but extra damage and extra size is good. And you can actually see as well, because that's from the God of Light... We've actually got some n new special effects on our attack. They actually look physically different. I really, really like that. I mean, that's one of the things the first game did really well as well. Just the style is amazing. So we want to be going like that. Oh, dude, the size of our casts is also really big too. That's really good. And does our mana restore at the end of each area? So what does this what does this ability do? Okay, it just holds them in place. So I can I can cast that without mana. And it just kind of slows them down and stuff. That's kind of nice. I can put another one of those over there. And that AoE is really, really nice there. Doing good so far. We have very low health, I'm seeing. Um, and what's this? Okay, so that's that's going to be a meta currency. We've got Ashes. Mostly used for Arcana cards. Okay, so in the previous game we had this mirror, um, which was our ability of getting meta upgrades. Basically upgrades that last throughout different runs. And it seems like that'll be a similar thing with these Arcana cards. Very intrigued to see where that goes. But yeah, that's one thing this game has definitely carried on with. The style of this game is just immaculate. It's so beautiful. It just looks great. I mean, you don't get a lot of big budget roguelikes, obviously. So when you do see one... Ooh, that was a very bad hit there. I was trying to cast this and didn't quite give myself enough time to do so. I didn't actually realize this guy was a was a caster for some reason, even though I fought this guy before. But you can see they've got armor. The ones that have armor, you can't basically interrupt their attacks. So they, they do pose a lot more of a threat. Obviously, they have 
extra health as well. I like the fact this thing's got so much range, though. You can see now, he's got no armor. We can interrupt his attacks. This is another meta currency, by the looks of it. Um, so we've got um, Psyche. Mostly used to raise grass to activate more arcana cards. Okay, interesting. And then here we've got money. We've got a choice, actually. So we've got money, or we've got whatever this is. I'm going to go for this because this looks new. Um, I'm guessing this will be an increase to our mana. Something along those lines. Ooh, I've got like a projectile here that I haven't used before. How much damage does that do? It does 10 apiece. That's pretty good. And then how much does our charge up do? 80. Okay, that's, that's a really, really good use of our mana there. Really, really good use of our mana. I mean, for that guy, it does barely anything. We're doing pretty good at dodging and stuff at the moment. Like I said, I got plenty of hours in the first Hades. Yes, that is an increase to our maximum mana. Very nice. And then we've got a mini boss that we can fight for an extra upgrade from the God of Light. Or we can go for a shop. As much as it's probably going to end badly, I'm going to go for the mini boss and see how we deal with her. Um, or him. It is a her. A root stalker. So I'm guessing I don't want to be in that. Oh, god damn. Oh, god damn, that's a lot of fire. Let's take out this thing first. Okay, I can just walk to get away from that. That's good to know. Okay, we got rid of the root thing, whatever that is. Yeah, we don't actually have to dash to get away from this, so that's kind of nice. I think I'm mainly going to use this, but... Also, okay, no, that's, that's not a good idea. I didn't really do that right. I've got to do it like this. And that does a decent amount of damage to you. You're kind of tough, aren't you? You're kind of tough. That's good damage right there. Get another one of them going. Oh my god. Lots of armor, but as soon as we've broken through the armor, things become a lot easier for us, so... But mainly, we just got this one attack, but it's a attack that seems to be able to do quite a lot of damage to us, so we've got to be careful for it. Okay, so now you're broken, we should be able to whale you down pretty quickly here by just standing there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, not not bad for our first mini-boss. Not bad at all. By the way, if the audio is a bit off, if it's too loud, too quiet, please let me know and I'll fix it in the uh, future episodes if I can. Right, after you ca after your Omega cast expires, that's our circle, um, rapidly deal damage in an area. Decent. Uh, when standing in your casts, we restore mana, and your attack has a chance to hit twice. Let's go with the dealing extra damage on our circle cast, because I quite like that. I really like all the voice lines too in this game. Really, really well done. And I've actually heard that one of the one of the new gods, I don't know which one it's called now, but one of the new gods is voiced by the woman that voices the narrator in Baldur's Gate 3, which is really cool, because she's a very, 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 very talented uh, voice actor. Oh god, whoa, what are these guys? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we are pretty low on health. We'll gather some of this flower, whatever it is. Luckily, a lot of these aren't armored, so actually kind of easy to deal with. I'm going to put one of them down and see if anyone walks into it. Yeah, one of them did manage to get their way into it. Yeah, I don't know what that, that, that thing that was screaming on me was. One left. Easy enough. I'm hoping we get a heal at some point here. We get more of these. Um, just trying to see if there's anything in the rooms on the sides. There can always be hidden things here. Um, we go for either one of these. I'm going to go for this one. So we can get here. Uh, by the way, in the, in the early access, I don't know how much of the game is actually in it. I think it's the whole thing, but I'm not entirely sure. Right, put that over there and... Dude, that does so much damage. I got a terrain hit on those other two and it did loads of damage. Oh yeah, that's incredible, that is. Mixing that in with our regular attacks is going to be so good. I mean, look how much damage that was able to do there. And then we can interrupt our attacks here. That extra size. More of that, lovely. And there's some HP. That's maximum HP. We don't need any more max mana, I don't think. I think our mana's actually doing pretty well right now. Maximum HP, that will actually heal us for the amount as well. As in, like, it won't just... We'll actually gain 25 HP plus 25 max HP sort of thing. Yeah, this is all just basic enemies. We can deal with this with all basic attacks. So it's a bother with our mana here. Although I suppose we could just... Kept this guy from a range here. 
They are herming? No, they don't. Who's next? Stay where you are. Yes, bro. That beautiful stuff. And then, as you see here, we go up to six from sixteen HP up to forty-one. Much better. Gives us quite a lot of HP, that. And we've got what looks to be a new god here, so let's go and try this out. Sometimes it's good to always stick with one god and, um, like, level up the powers you get from that one. But other times it's good to mix it up a little bit, and that's what I'm feeling like right now. Sort of see what's new, see what's good. And I'm wondering if this game will be similar to Hades 1 in, in where you have a bunch of different weapons you can use. Oh my god. we got a terrain kill in the middle of that as well. Yeah, this is a very, very good spell. I think spell builds are going to be quite fun here. The flame sigil. Who is this, then? Ooh, a new person. Goddess of the flame. Here's a little warm up for ya. I'm gonna like the God of Flame, I think. It seems cool. Okay, so, rapidly restore mana, but you have ma uh, minus 20% HP. Okay, mana regen seems useful. Uh, gain HP and mana up, but give one boon um, to Hastia. Ooh, damn. We'd have to give away our... Um, we'd have to give away our solar ring, which I'm really liking. That seems interesting. Um... Ooh, okay. We use more mana, but we do blast damage. I'm gonna go with the control burn. It doesn't have much downsides to it. Uh, and I think that's this one, right? Is it that one? Let me, let me let me go over to my boon info. Our Omega one. How do I get across to the other ones? I want to view the ones to the left. No? I don't know how to get across to the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Am I being stupid? Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll work out what that is. Um, oh, specials and uh, 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 triangle ability, I see. Okay. I'm going to go for more of this. I'm going to go for, like, all in on this one. The ashes. So if I do this now, I've got, like, a burn. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. That I like that. But it's going to cost twice the amount of mana. But that seems pretty good. Oh, that was really, really bad damage. I didn't realize he had armor, so I just kind of sat there and took that. I thought I could interrupt him. I, I could not. There's a bit of herming on that as well. That's nice. I don't have the mana for that, damn. Okay. Took a lot more damage there than I should have done. We got a palm of power here, which will let us upgrade one of these. Uh, one of these four that we have. Or we can go for a shop. I'm going to go for the shop because I'm likely to uh, be able to buy some healing here. And hopefully we can speak to Charon as well. Indeed we can. Hello. There you go. It's Charon. He's uh, he's the boatman. I'm in your debt, Lord Charon. These provisions surely shall make all the difference in my task. What gold I find... Oh, I skipped that by accident. I'm sorry, Garon. Okay, so we've got... How much money do we have right now? We have... We don't have a ton, so we can't get all of these. But I'm definitely going to buy the HP. And I'll buy the Palm of Power as well. So, let's have a little look-see here. I'm probably, I think Solar Ring's probably the best one for us here. We don't have a way to get mana back, so on the boss fight, it might not be super useful. I'm going to guess this is the boss fight, right? Who is this? There she is. You reached the edge of Erebus already. Here it is. Surpassed my expectations, Melenoe. It's the narrator from Baldur's Gate 3. Thank you, Headmistress Hecate, for all your guidance and the compliment. In my place, you'd have done the same. However, now is not the time for pleasantries. It is for a demonstration of your capability. Okay. My capability? You'd have us face each other here. Even though my task has already begun. Your training shall never be complete. And I would know if you stand any chance at all against our enemy. Okay, so I'm going to do that right off the bat. Oh my, that does some good damage. 
Oh, god damn. Get over here. Oh, there's, there's three of them, what the fuck? Oh, god damn, that was a bad hit. Damn, I'm trying my best to use this ability, but it's a little difficult. Okay, I probably won't end up beating this first time, I'm, I'm thinking. Ah, oh, you moved out of the way of it. Okay, what's going on here then? Okay, you are, you are summoning some enemies. Good to know. Do I need to kill all of them before you do uh, let us attack you again? I think I do. Terrain kills seem crazy good in this game. Once I learn the attack patterns, it's going to be a bit easier, but goddamn, she has a lot of HP. No armor, though, by the looks of it. That attack we can kind of just stand still for, which is good. This one we cannot. Her attacks aren't actually that bad. They're, they're pretty easy to avoid. What are these? Oh, bollocks. I got stuck on the wall there. Not much health left to work with here, unfortunately. What are you doing now? Nope, that was close. We're two hits off of dead. Oh, what the hell is that? I don't know what that is, but I don't... Okay, I have become a sheep. I have become a sheep. Can I unsheep? I don't think I can. Okay, good. Oh my lord. This is a very crazy boss to be fighting right off the bat, but I'm one hit off dead here, so I'm not super hopeful that we'll beat it this first time, but I have a feeling that most people won't, so I'm going to be mostly okay if I die here. Oh, that's a new attack. Okay. Oh, they bounce. They bounce. Okay, we can deal with this. We got the range, which is good. I should have taken something that allowed me to regen mana. Honestly, regening mana would have made this go a lot quicker. I know that for the future now. If you're just going to do these two attacks back to back, this might be okay. Yeah, okay, we might be alright here. Because these two attacks aren't... They're, they're, they're very predictable. If you did move, which I wasn't expecting... Ah, okay. We got to make sure we're behind stuff now. Really, this again? Oh, there's three of these now. Okay, I see. Oh, we got it. Nice. Only just, but we got it. Test complete. You fought with diligence and with ferocity. But surely there is more for you to learn beyond this threshold. Maybe there is. It, headmistress. What about you? Can you not join me? No. I dare not stray too far from our abode. Continue now your task. I shall await your safe return. Interesting. Thank you, headmistress. Well, that was a really tough fight. I'm glad we got it. And we gain ourselves whatever this is. Let's have a little look, see what that is, shall we? Mostly used with incantations involving fire and preservation. Interesting. And then this will be the next floor. Is there anything in this room that we can gain? Sometimes there isn't the boss rooms. Doesn't look like it so far. Let's go to the next area. Okay, we haven't healed, which I'm scared about. 
Oh, is that a healing pool there? That's only 11 HP. <laughs> That's not enough. Okay. Can't recover here. Need to press on. Okay, okay. At least we've got some healing, but it's not a great amount. So, what's going on here? Ooh. This floor's interesting. Oh, no. Who is this? You're a long way from the crossroads trouble. So, this is where the real action is, huh? Weren't you supposed to still be practicing? Things took a turn, Eris. You know how it goes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some urgent business to attend to. Always Indeed. In such a rush. I'd really hate to slow you down. Though, let's hang out some time, okay? Have a great night. Oh, one last thing. Blessed. Blessed. To me? Hmm. Doesn't seem like a blessing. Your first deal 20% more damage. This grows each encounter. That seems useful. <laughs> Thanks for that. Okay. We do get some HP if we beat this. We don't know what these enemies are doing, though, so let's be careful. I managed to explode that thing, which I'm imagining is going to do quite a bit of damage. Yep. Okay, these things are pretty strong. Definitely a combination of using magic is going to be necessary with a lot of these guys. The hell are you? Okay, the fireball is good there. Oh god, there's a fireball still chasing me. Let's get that going. I'm very aware of my very, very low health right now. Come over here, fellas. Step into pain. Oh, dude, I got hit by that fish thing. The fish ball got me. Very careful of the uh, flying fish ball. Do you want to get somewhere where I can attack you, please? There you go. And then you detonate on death. Okay. At least we get some HP there. And then what we got going on here? We'll take this because it's new. Always got to go for the new stuff. I really like the portals in this area. They're cool. Okay, what we got going on here? Ra rather large lasers. Lots and lots and lots of those uh, things there. Whoever's firing all these balls needs to go. I think when they're armored, they have extra attacks, so... Got you. Is that gonna get you? Yeah. Oh, it held him into place, but they got away. And you detonate, and you, you, oh, you don't do much damage to the other one, though. Fair enough. And here we gain whatever this is. Not precisely now. Mostly used in trade for more valuable resources. Okay, and then how much money we got right now? We got enough to go to the shop, I think, here. Let's go to the shop and try and buy some more healing or something. Oh, we got a fishing spot there. Unfortunately, we do not have a fishing rod yet. Uh, we got Demeter. I think we're going to have to buy HP and we'll also buy a Pom Slice, which is a random upgrade, which I actually upgraded the one I wanted it to, so that's nice. And we'll go for another mini boss for a Demeter upgrade. Oh god. Explosions. Let's take out all the all the smaller enemies first, shall we? That hit me. Lovely. Oh my goodness. Okay. We can actually focus on what the boss is doing now. Good, good. Don't know if I'm going to be able to... Do oh my goodness. Wasn't expecting that. This, this boss has a lot of HP. Oh my god. But yeah, that, unfortunately our mana attacks aren't going to do a great job right now. We need a lot of range for this guy, unfortunately, which I do not have. 
don't have any mana left. Okay, this 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 may be where we die here. You have an insane amount of HP and some pretty pretty gnarly attacks. Okay, that attack's pretty well telegraphed. Good. That one's not too hard to avoid. We have to keep very much keep our distance. If we hadn't have bought HP earlier, we would already be dead. So, as soon as I get the armor off, you're fine. But you have a lot of armor, sir. A lot of armor indeed. Where you at now? Okay, that attack just keeps coming, doesn't it? The bomb attack's not too bad because it's random. It doesn't actually aim at me. Okay, wait for this. Dash through it. You move every time. Okay, we're good. We're good. We can just wail on you now. I think. Sometimes they can break through this, but... Oh, man. I'm very surprised we got through this. That was a very tricky one. Right, Demeter, please be good. And now at last we meet. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You look just like your mother. I'll not lose her again. Huge visual upgrade for Demeter. She's hell in its entirety if that is what it takes to get her back. You'll help me, won't you, granddaughter? Indeed. Right, what we got going on here? Your specials deal more damage and inflict freeze. Seems interesting. Um, okay, freeze is kind of good there. Um, after remaining inactive for one second, rapidly restore um, mana. That's kind of good. And your cast deals bonus damage um, and follows you even as you start to channel it. That seems really interesting. I'm going to go for that. Cold comfort. And we'll go for more of this. Okay, that's pretty awesome. The fact that we can use that on the move now is, is kind of great. What on earth is going on right now? This room's kind of wild. That's really good, that. We've got a really good combination going on with that ability. We're just still in a very bad spot for HP is all. Clearly in a very bad spot. Got a lot of ashes going on, I like that. We go for a pom. I'm gonna go for this one instead. Get another uh, another boon. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Like a triple little bounce thing there. I'll let that thing do its thing. But now I can do this look. I can go like that. Start attacking you. And wail on you. Beautiful. Didn't quite work that time. That was good. Oh, that's so good that it follows us now. I love that. Very worried about my HP, but we seem to be doing mostly okay here. These guys I'm not too worried about. Couldn't do it. Oh, damn it. Didn't have mana. No! I didn't have mana and I got myself caught out there. But we've got plenty to do back at the home base, which I haven't even actually seen yet now that I think about it. So I'm interested to see what this home base area looks like. Oh. Back already. Back. Already. Oh, who's, who's this little frog guy? You might like it down in Oceanus better than I do right now. Oh. Mm. Oh, the cute. That's a cute little froggy. Okay, we're back here. Ooh. 
This old unfinished painting. Don't look away. Don't forget all that the Titan took from you. Mmm, very interesting. Boo. Boo indeed. Who are you? Who dares disturb my eternal rest? You trifle with powers far beyond your comprehension, witch. Speak. She's actually called as a witch, okay. It's official. That's pretty decent, right, Mel? That may be pushing it. Okay, if I call you witch like that. <laughs> which worked for me in context. And a solid haunting all in all, Dora. But I'd better run. Something I have to do. That was cute. That was cute. Ooh, this area is awesome. The crossroads. We can't get in here yet. There seems to be another area we can go to later down the line. Potential fishing spot there. Aha, here's our, here's our headmaster, or whatever you call him. I'm sure look around first. Okay, no, th this is the fishing spot. <laughs> Salute. Our fight is just getting started. Times. Hail. We've got plenty of people to speak to. Okay, let's speak to the headmistress first. It was a worthwhile first attempt, Malinoe. I trust you'd have gone farther still had I not obstructed your path. Quite unsuccessfully, I concede. Uh -huh. You needed to ensure I was prepared, Headmistress Hecate. And I know there is much left to prove. Just so. Trust well your instincts and your craft and continue the task. Death to Kronos. To Kronos? Death okay. to Kronos. Is Kronos the... Kronos is the, the god of time, right? If I remember correctly. Already hit a wall. Knocked your scrawny ass all the way back here. It's insane that she's sending you out on foot all on your own. Your skepticism's duly noted. Interesting. Who's this fella? Tell me you killed the bastard. Drove your staff into his wretched skulls with a dagger in his gut. Uh, not that he'd die from that. Works on mortals, though. <laughs> I have nothing to report, Odysseus. Not yet. yet. Well, you'll get him next time, I reckon. <laughs> Maybe not, we'll see. Ooh! Hi, gang. Headmistress must have some important tasks for you. Interesting. Who's this little sleeping fella here? <laughs> Hypnosis. We'll find a way to wake you, oh sleep. I promise. Interesting. And last area is through here. My altar. My altar, indeed. Okay. Headmistress so here's our cards. So, while you channel your moves, everything moves slower for two seconds. I mean, that's pretty goddamn useful. Um, how many of these can I activate at once? Or is this like, once I've activated them, they're permanently unlocked? After you uh, exit a location, restore two health, or twice that if you have m no more than 30% HP. Deal 20 damage to first from your cast, and I'll definitely go for that one first, I think. Seems useful. Okay, it says that I've got two out of... Two out of um, 20 here, look. Oh, and I can upgrade that with Psyche. Ah, I'm liking this. Okay, I'm, I'm very, very glad that I went for all the Ash to begin with. <laughs> Seems very useful. Okay. While you have less than 100% mana, your attacks and special deal extra damage. That seems pretty awesome. Um, gain 20 health and 20 mana. That seems very good as well. I think I'm going to go for that. Titan. Restore two mana every one second. Um, set forth each night with one death defiance. We definitely got to get that unlocked. Um, we've got nine left at the moment, so we can't get much right now. We can go for, uh, this one. The Furies. And then you sprint 20% faster. Okay, so we're out of that at the moment, but that's, that's good. We've managed to gain quite a lot out of that already. Glad we got so much of the, um... Of the ashes. We've got six left. That'll do. Then what we got going on in here. This could be like our training area. Like I was saying earlier, I wonder if like Hades we can swap out our weapon. Like upgrade and change our weapons. So that was a really cool thing in Hades 1. I'm not sure if it'll carry over to this game, but I imagine it will. Ah, yeah, there you go. There's there's our weapons right here. The arms of night are now at my disposal. Aha, so I need I need a bunch of different stuff here. So the witch's staff. 
the Moonstone Axe, the Umbra Flames, and the Sister Blades. Ooh, Sister Blades seems very much my style. Um, we only need one silver for that as well, so... We 15 silver for that one. So Sister Blades is the next one up by the looks of it. Um, we've got one Cinder already. Much okay, cool. And then here's our uh, training boy here. We can restore some mana here. Oh! What did I just do? Death to Kronos. I'll see to that. No one is more prepared. Beyond the mists of Erebus, there should be a way down. Too God damn, this looks awesome. Elysium, and too risky to stay. All right, it's time. Cool, okay. So yeah, we've got the training guy over here. A battle lost. But this is war, young one, and you have many battles yet to come. The only question is, are you prepared to win? I'm not so sure here, so let's see you give me 20. Give me 20. Commander Skelemia, sir. Okay. I'll strike him 20 times. Okay. I shall read it. Forgive me, sir. Again. Very interesting. Good, good. Okay, so I think the way that we enter our next run is here, I imagine. Go out. Hmm. I'm not sure, actually. We might end up starting another run here. I probably won't do another run this episode, though. Uh, I'll save that for the next one. But I'm going to see which either one of these do. So we've got... Go up or go out. I'm not sure which one's which. I'm going to try go up first. Sealed with wards. With that thing. And then go out. Titan, slay the titan. Okay, this starts a new run. Okay, good, good. Well, I will start off the next episode right here. Um, off of the back of this run. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode and first run. I think we did pretty goddamn well, and I'm really, really loving Hades 2. Please let me know if you like it, and I don't ask this very often, but give the series a like and share it around if you do enjoy it. I'm really wanting this to be a main series of the channel, and it would mean a lot if you guys could help that become a reality. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.